Hey everybody, it's Jack and Dan. Today, we're gonna open some mail. And do some shout outs. Yeah! All right, so to start off with guys, we got some stickers done and we started mailing them out to some other friends, viewers, YouTubers, people like that. Everyone really, if you're interested in getting some, we would love to send you some. It's just a little uh, picture of our little YouTube emblem. Yeah. And they're nice little vinyl stickers and they we've sent them all over the world already. And people in return, are sending us some of theirs. And we want to do shout outs to those people and let you know about their channels. And then of course they end up going up over Jack's huge triple tank setup. The on wall of stickers. Yeah, the wall of fame he calls it. And it's starting to build up yeah. a lot there. We're gonna show you at the end here. The so YouTube we, wall of fame. Yeah, we take people's stickers and we put them up there. So every time we film Jack's tanks, which are quite famous, how many views your one video of your Tanks is up to uh, 1.7 million or something. Yeah, I think almost. so. It's pretty interesting. Crazy. Crazy. We would have never thought when we started this channel that there would be close to 2 million people. We didn't people. even think we'd have like 100 subscribers beginning. We didn't even know. Like our first day trying it, we didn't even know. We yeah. Even yeah, we just been doing this aquarium thing and wellness thing for a long time. We wanted to share some of our ideas. And um, it started kind of really... Um, People were interested in some of our ideas, so it's very cool. We, we, we are very happy, and we want to really just help people, have people have good ideas. Jack's got the giggles tonight. He's going to be laughing through this whole video. But um, it's very exciting to talk to people all over the world. And so anyway, we just like Jack said, we would have never thought that 2 million people almost would have watched one of our videos ever. And we want to do a big shout-out to Interesting Engineering. They actually did a little story on us. If you haven't seen that, we'll put a link in the description. Uh, they were talking about one of our designs with the bridges and some of our other designs, and that pushed a lot of people toward our channel, which was really cool. And um, there was a couple of news channels from over in Britain and other, other places like that that did some stories on some of our aquarium designs and things like that. So that was really fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Very, very, very cool. And um, we just want to thank them for, for kind of helping us out and making people aware of us and everything like that. And all of the other YouTubers that have helped us along the way and all the viewers and everybody who's ever been interested in any video we've ever made. It's a lot of fun for us to do and we really enjoy it. So if you want a sticker, email us. My email is, what's my email? Metal Roar. Metal Roar. Yes, a lot of people don't know this. I used to actually sing and play drums in a hardcore metal band. And back in the day when the internet first started, Jack kind of picks on my old email. That's the first email that anybody just about ever had <laughs> way before you were ever born. And it was an old AOL account. I still have it. It's metalroar at AOL.com. I will put it down in the description. If you want some stickers, email us your address and we will gladly send them out to you. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. It's only like 50 or 60 cents no matter where you live. And if you send us one back, we will we will share it. We will give you a shout out. This one in particular, one of our good friends, Aquamate, uh, lives in Australia. Lots of awesome Australian YouTubers that we know. Jack's thinking about some of them right now, so he's laughing. Yeah. Um, guys, send us your stickers. We'll put you on our wall of fame. We will give you a shout out. We will send you some of ours. Aquamate's an awesome guy. We'll put a link in the description. We love all of our Australian friends. There's so many. And we do plan down the road to do a very special edition design of a an aquarium just for all you guys. Yeah, it's going to be funny, but it's also going to be very interesting. Yeah. No one knows what we're doing at all. Well, there's one person. There's one person. Susie Q from Q Aquatics that I very, very little bit talked to her about it a couple comments back and forth. She probably doesn't even know that that's what I was meaning to talk about, but it was something that we had a very brief discussion about. Check out Susie Q Aquatics too. She's awesome. I sent her some stickers. I think she said she was sending some on the way, but we didn't get them yet. So I'll give her a shout out anyway. She's a fantastic lady. She's very nice. Very nice. Has an awesome channel. Does a lot of great stuff. And um, I just had a very brief conversation with her about our plans. She's the only person that has any idea what we plan to do. So, onward and upward, we got some other awesome videos. This is a, uh, a fellow YouTuber, does fish. Really, really, really cool. Cichlids23. Been friends with him for a long time. Sent us some of his stickers. Check those out. Those are awesome. 
Great, great, great design there. Does a lot of cyclic tanks, a lot of awesome tanks. Sent us quite a few. That's awesome. And a little letter saying, hey, 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 thanks so much for your support and for your awesome stickers. I'm stoked I finally have mine, and I'm glad I could share them. Hope you like them. We do. We like them very much, and they're going up on the Wall of Fame. So anytime anyone ever sees Jack's setup, they're going to see your stickers. They're going to see whatever you sent us, whether it's a postcard, whether it's a picture, whatever it is. Um, we got another guy. This guy's not really a fish tuber so much, but really, really cool guy that we like. Now, you guys He's know... A funny YouTuber. Yeah, you guys know we also eat a plant-based diet. We talk. I'm a wellness coordinator. We talk to people about wellness a lot. And we do food reviews, restaurant reviews. I like plants, too. They taste good. Yes, and recipes. These guys, however, this is Bob the Rafter. Yes. They sent us these little poker chips because sometimes they do the scratch-off thing. And they said, hey, here's some poker chips. They actually sent us a few of them. We are going to save some of these and set them aside. Now, we are getting close to 10,000 subscribers. When we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're going to do a giveaway. We're going to do a weird box of just random cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do just like... going to mail it. To whoever wins. That's down the line. That's coming up. But these are going to be part of that giveaway. We're going to put one or two in there. These guys are hilarious. They are two velociraptors. But they're actually like plastic kind of like... Toy kind of things are cool. <laughs> yeah, really cool. And one of them is named, of course, Bob. One of them is named Joe. Bob is a little bit more of an omnivorous raptor. He's a little yeah. more up with the times. Bob, he, likes, he, he doesn't cook that often, but he has made things before. He likes going through dry food. Dry, dry food. Yeah, and they do reviews, but they also really talk a lot about supporting local restaurants and things like yes, that, which is do. an awesome mm -hmm. thing. Um, Bob is very open to trying different things. Yes. Joe is very, very funny, very Joe old just, school. Joe just likes meat and cheese. <laughs> meat and cheese. <laughs> and he said that we were a little bit of an enigma. He said, how are you guys so strong and fit eating all that junk food? Because, of course, he considers vegetables to be junk food because he's a raptor. Yes. Anyway, very funny, guys. Um, very cool. Honestly. Very cool that they sent this. It says on the back, win some paper rectangles because that's what they call money. We're very scratch cool. Scratch off a lottery ticket. Very fun channel. Very cool. They sent us a little thing. Says, uh, thanks for help and support of our channel. Hope you had a great fourth. Oh, this was back around the fourth. I have enclosed a couple of extra chips. Feel free to keep or give away. So we will be giving. And they call everyone mammals. He says, uh, Jack and Dan mammals. Because he's not a mammal. Because they're not the mammals, raptor. right. Very, very funny. We enjoy their videos a lot. And um, they actually don't live very far from us. Maybe we'll try to do a, a conglomeration or funny. collaboration. Um, let's look at another one we have here. We have, oh, these are really cool people from um, New York. This is a family. Um, they're called Where To Next, Dad. And they do a lot of, they sent us an array of different stickers. Look at all these different ones. Really, really, really cool. I love I mean, the cutout. This shape. one's upside down. Yeah, really, really That's great. Cool. We're going to hang these on the wall of fame here. What these guys do is they go and they travel around and they go all, all over the place but, of course, with the COVID, with the lockdown, they had to get very creative. And we think that they thought of some great ideas, just like we, we tried like to share. We like traveling, too. Yeah, and we weren't able to. And so that's why we try to share some of our ideas about, like, working out in the gym and trying to do things around the house. They had an array of wonderful ideas of things to do during the lockdown for families and kids and everybody, really. And so they're awesome. Where to next? Dad sent us a really, really nice uh, letter with their stickers. Just an awesome idea of, of things to do. Um, and of course, oh, this is one of Jack's absolute favorites, right? Who's this guy? Joe Manus. Yes. One of the first YouTubers we ever talked to. Look at his pretty, pretty He's sticker. so cool. He puts a lot of like, uh, he puts a lot of figures in his tank and he makes it look like uh, he does a, he did Mothra once uh, from Godzilla. He does a lot of cool stuff. Yes. It's very interesting. Awesome, always redesigning tanks and putting awesome music to them. Very supportive, very funny, very funny. He does a lot of fitness stuff, too, and everything. And uh, Wellness talks about that stuff. He wrote us a great letter. Uh, Greetings, gentlemen. I want to thank you both for your support. You have given me and means a lot to me uh, to have your friendship. Hope you like the stickers. We do, Joe. We love them. And most anyone who's a fish tuber knows Joe. We're going to put a link in his description, though. He does fantastic Look at the design escaping. on that sticker, even. Yes, it's better very, than ours. Very, very, very awesome. And he has a side business where he takes care of tanks. He lives in Texas. Yeah. And we were going to try to meet up with him when we went, but everything got canceled. 
because of the COVID. Yeah. So maybe another time, Joe. We hope that we can. We're going to try. Hopefully next year. Maybe next year. We'll see what happens there. He has uh, business cards and everything. And so um, he does aquarium services, specializes in African cichlids. So again, we're going to put a link to his description. Awesome, awesome, awesome guy. We love Joe. Here's another one. Oh, this is one of our, this is our buddies. <clears throat> Fish Room Fever. Fish Room Fever. Does a lot of live streams. Does tours just like we do a lot of tours. Here's one of his awesome little stickers. Awesome, awesome, awesome channel. That's a, an awesome Pleco on there. We love our Plecos. We recently got a new one, but shh, it's a spoiler. It's coming up in the video. <laughs> send us a great, yeah, send us a great letter. Um, sends these out to all of his. Uh, fishroomfever.com has a website. We're going to put his YouTube channel and everything in there. Uh, really, really, really an awesome hobbyist. Tons of tanks. Does, like I said, live streams, tours of aquarium stores, all kind of stuff like that. Really, really awesome channel. Um, and then... We have, this is a very, very, very special. This is a very, very special letter. Anyone who does not know Punchy or Punchy Paints is her, is her YouTube channel. She is an incredible, incredible, incredible artist, artist Pam Earlywine, okay? We're going to put a link in the description. This is one of her cards. She does incredible artwork. She's great. Of animals, of people. Of I don't even know how she does it. I don't. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. Look at this. This is Great. one of her cards. Look at this. She does water painting, oil painting, uh, colored pencils, all kind of different kind of things, charcoal work, uh, sketches, everything. It's so cool because it looks so real. Like you can't tell the difference between real life and the drawings. Right. It's amazing. She's amazing and she has tanks and she's super cool and she does live streams and she's very, very cool. And we hooked up with her a long, long time ago too. Now, here's what I did. I opened this. Jack has not seen this yet. It's in, what I did, it's in, she made a card. Inside of this card, Jack does not even know about this. I got in touch with her and I sent her a payment. And I said, here's what I want you to do. Normally, she would make something and then you would basically buy it. Like most artists. What I said to Pam is, I said, can you do me a huge favor? I want you to make something from our channel. You pick it, whatever you want. I have no idea. I opened this and started to open this card and saw that this was what she did. And I put it back. I have a little bit of an idea. Jack has not seen it. He has no idea. We wanted to give her creative freedom as an artist. And we said, Punchy, Pam, make us whatever you want. Don't tell us what it is. Nothing. I want to be an artist someday. She's giving me inspiration to show what I could, what could do. Yeah, so, Jack really does cool. a lot. Of, Jack does a lot of cool stuff too, yeah. and it is really cool. So many people who work with aquariums or any sort of art form like that are incredibly creative people. Pam is one of the most creative we've ever ever met on YouTube. Um, inside of this, I'm excited to see what it is. She did a sketch, I believe she said with colored pencils, of. We don't know. We have no we idea. It could be Lacey. Could be Iostigi. Could be Squirt. We have no... Could be us. We have no idea. So, we're going to unveil this right now. I'm so excited to see what it is. <laughs> All right, here it is, buddy. Whoa! It's Cap! Dude! That's so cool. I that can, is that awesome. That is so interesting. Look at this, guys. That's so cool. She did... I Eight. love I love how she did I wow. I love how she did the like the you the fading colors and looks the, just it looks like just him. Just like him. Wow. That's so she cool. does look at this fancy paper. She did it on like fancy artsy paper like look she signed it early wine. Guys, this is a drawing. I can't wait to frame this. I love how it like has his eyes and then he has like his body shape and then his curtain. It's so neat that she picked so Cap. Cool. We actually just today did a video on Cap's tank. We just moved his tank yeah. and everything. What a coincidence that we would do this. Look at this, guys. That is our Half Moon Beta. That's so cool. Cap. Look at that, guys. Wow. It's, like, unbelievable. I don't understand how she would watch the video and just, un like, it, it, like, took that from her brain and just put it on paper. I am not. I, I'm creative when it comes to music and certain things like that. I can never but, do that. But 
I could never do something like this. What an amazing job, That's Pam. That's great. Thank you so much for this. We are going to frame this, and it's going to go up on Jack's Wall of Fame. We are so impressed and happy with that. Wow. I love the scale details, too. I'm going to go show it to Cap. <laughs> That is awesome, Pam. Thanks so much. Thank Again, you. That's awesome. We're going to put a link in it's the description so cool. of, of her information. She is amazing. Um, oh, my gosh. I'm so blown away by that. I, I can't stop colors. looking at it. I love the it red. It looks just like them. I love the red, white, and blue <laughs> colors, too. Yeah, so the reason we named him Cap is after Captain America, Steve Rogers, of course, because red, white, and blue. Uh, Jack picked him out from He's Best in Pets like a, Captain a long America time ago. spirit, too. He's got, he's got wow, like a that's so great. patriot spirit. So impressed. Thank you so much, Pam. That was awesome. Thanks. That looks so good. We have one more here specifically. Now, there are other people who are sending things. Things are on, gonna, on the way. We're going to do another one of these. We're going to be doing these more often. We're just really excited to do one. So we wanted to do one, and then we'll show what we got as well. Yeah. About once a month or so, we're going to send stickers out to people. They're going to send us stuff, and we're going to do these kind of shout-out videos. And it doesn't matter. You don't have to be one of the aquarium folks. You don't have to be a fish tuber. You could be literally a YouTuber about anything and send something. Yeah, and if you've connected with us and we talk about stuff, send us something. We'll send you something. We'll put you on Jack's Wall of Fame. Now, this, guys, this is one of our really, really good friends that we met way over from the beginning. Like literally, like, uh, the beginning, like a month right from the beginning. when we started. This gentleman's name is Roy from Spoiled Fish. Almost all of you guys who are fish tubers know Roy. Now, we have talked about him before because he has sent us stickers, but, but this time he sent something different. Yeah, he sent us stickers, and we sent him some of ours and gave him a shout-out, and then he said, hey, I want to send you guys something else. He sent us a mug, and I totally forgot the mug, so we're going to pause this at the end here and bring the mug. He sent us yes. a mug. He yes. has a really cool turtle named Hoppy. Super, super awesome turtle, yeah. and we talk about turtles and stuff like that, and he's got, he's just got great videos. He has ponds, and he has tons of aquariums in his basement, big fish room, breeds fish, awesome stuff. He goes to the same yeah, LFS we go to. Plenty of animals. Yeah, he goes to Best in Pets like we do. He sent us a great letter, and he knows, because of seeing Jack's room and everything, that we love Spider-Man. In fact, a lot of people don't know, if you haven't, if you haven't seen us talk about this in a video before, I named Jack after Spider-Man. His middle name is Parker, after yeah. Peter Parker. Why did I name him after Spider-Man? Well, first of all, he's a wonderful superhero. But he has a theme that a lot of people know. What's that saying that because, his uncle told him? Because great power comes with great responsibility. With great power comes great responsibility. And I love that saying, and I think it's very, very important for people to remember that. When you're in a position of power, whether it's a politician, whether it's a doctor, whatever it is, you know... I always remember those words, and I always teach all the new nurses that I train, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. And I always taught that to Jack, and I wanted him to know that, and I gave him that name, Parker, because I think that's a very, very important thing to remember. And um, he sent, now he collects comic books. He sent Jack, look at this. This is a 1957 Amazing Spider-Man comic. This is awesome. Guys, awesome. I, can't, I cannot even believe he sent us. He sent me that because I don't even know. Like he, he must have just really wanted to send me them because those are worth. Very, worth. very, very nice of him to do. And he wrote a little letter on here. He wrote a little letter on here. He says the Spider Man is a little beat up, but by the time you're my age, it will be a hundred years old, and should still have some value. Hey, you know what? It doesn't even matter if it has value. It's the cool. It's the thought that counts, Roy. That means that it's already a, a, like half a century old. That is an awesome, awesome, awesome thing. So we are cool. so, so thankful for that. That is a really, really cool, it's cool gift. Because there's few people nowadays that still collect these things. That's really, it's really nice of him to give give me something that valuable. That's very nice. Super amazing. Super amazing. And he also sent him a Walking Dead one. That um, he collects these as well. And Jack. You actually watch The Walking Dead with your mom and stuff sometimes. Yeah, I don't I do. watch this at all. It's not even that good. It's not that good, <laughs> if you ask me. But he watched it for a while. It's a long-standing thing. Maze Runner's better. He likes the Maze Runner. We like the Maze Runner movies. But he sent this. Very cool. This is another collectible. He says another collectible. It's based off a comic book, so that's pretty cool. That's this is how it started. Yeah. Totally collectible. Very amazing. So he sent two of those. I'm just I'm gonna keep these as long as I can because they're just so cool. We're gonna uh, we're gonna pause this real quick and go get that cup because we almost forgot the cup. All right, check this out, guys. This is a cup. 
sent us one of his cups too. How cool is this? Happy the turtle, and then he's got his emblem, spoiled fish, on YouTube. That turtle's so cute. Super, super cute, super, super cool channel. Very, very cool. I've used this several times, Roy. Thank you so much for that mug. Anyway, this this has been an amazing journey. We are amazed by all the people that we have met over. We've really only been doing this a little over a year. Very, very, very fun. We started a YouTube channel, but really didn't post anything until you know things started kind of rolling a little bit about a year ago. So this is Jack's big triple uh, tank setup. In case you have not seen it, we're going to be doing a lot more updates on that. It's three tanks that we joined together with these aqua bridges. This is the one that Interesting Engineering did on us, uh, did, a, did a story on us. Roy actually told us about it. We didn't even know. We started seeing all these views. We're like, what's happening? And he said, hey, this happened. So we checked the link out. We will put a link down below. It's very, very cool that they did that. This is Jack's Wall of Fame over it. Of course, all his Marvel guys and everything else. Yeah. So anytime anyone ever sends us something, sorry, buddy. <laughs> anytime anyone ever sends us something, we're going to put it up here on this Wall of Fame. Anytime we do an update on this tank, which is pretty frequently because we're always changing around stuff, people are going to see your sticker, your postcard, whatever, and we're going to give you shout outs and stuff like that. Here's some of the other ones that people have sent us. Steven from SC Aquatics. Yes. Um, we've got Langan. These are the, she sent us a little picture of her uh, uh, goldfish. And we've got stuff from the Special Olympics. We've got De Deb Tim. She's awesome. We love her. Daniel Keeping Fish. Yeah. All S kinds of things. SLC Aquatics. Yeah. S Susan. S yeah. Susan from SLC Aquatics. All kind of awesome things. Of course, Ohio Fish Rescue. And then Spoiled Fish. Yeah. And then Spoiled okay. Fish up there again. And then, of course, we got some old pictures of us and everything. Anyway, guys, this is a really cool thing. We really are blown away by all the people that we've met by doing this. This has been so much fun meeting people and talking to people all over the world. All over the world. And we're going to be doing this kind of thing more often. Uh, so, again, my email will be in the description. Email me your stickers, email us your postcards, whatever. We're going to be doing shout-outs like this. We do plan on doing, like Jack said, a pretty fun 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Yes. So when we do hit that mark, we're going to be doing that. Um, that's it, really. I mean, and this is so also, fun. Also, I want to add, uh, uh, by the way, if anyone asks who's my favorite Marvel villain and my favorite Marvel hero, probably my hero, Captain America, and villain, vi uh, Venom. Venom. Yeah. The thing that's cool about Venom is... He's kind of not a villain all the time. He's one of those guys who no, kind yes. of goes back and forth. Yeah. But we'll see. We're very excited about the uh, Carnage movie coming up. That's yes. going to be cool. <laughs> but uh, anyway, send us something. We'll give you a shout-out. We'll put you up on the wall. It's been amazing meeting everyone. We really enjoy it. This is so much fun. And we're happy that people find our designs and our creativity to be interesting. We hope it helps people in the end. We hope it gives yeah. you some good ideas and that it helps people to be have a better quality of life. That's what, for me, being a nurse and a wellness coordinator is all about. And that's all we ever set out to do. And we're very happy that people are, are, are finding our videos, that if they can do that even just a little bit. So take care, guys. We'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. And just get out there and enjoy the summer because it ain't going to last much longer, right? Yeah. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Today, we're going to open some mail. Yeah. <laughs> Got to say it. All right, ready? Go ahead. What do you mean? I, you're going to say, <laughs> we got some stickers, and we don't have them anywhere around us. <laughs> Go get the stickers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what <is it> <laughs> yeah! <laughs>